Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or for those that are new here. Hello, my name is Alicia. So in today's video we're going to be talking about a very important thing that you should be doing for your fruit trees and that is mulching. So apart from giving your trees a lot of nutrients, mulch is also really good for insulation in both winter and summer. It also helps to retain moisture and it also helps keep those weeds at bay. So yeah, today I'm going to be sharing my five tips when it comes to mulching with everyone. We've just had five cubes of mulch dropped off, so yeah, I thought it would be the perfect time to put some mulch around some trees and show you how we do it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it. What's wrong with the grass? It's been cold. Is it cold? Yeah, it actually has been quite cold here in the mornings lately. But if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, uh, me and my husband Jaden and Logan live here in New Zealand on a teen acre property where we're trying Orange. to become more self-sufficient. So we've put in a big orchard, put in a big veggie garden. We also <laughs> rear our own calves and pigs. Uh, so yeah, if you guys want to follow along our journey and trying to become more self-sufficient, uh, definitely click that subscribe button. And if you like videos like this, then please click that like button um, and I'll be sure to make some more in the future. So I'll just quickly show you the mulch that we use. So we just use arborist mulch, which we got dropped off. It's pretty much a blend of everything, sticks, leaves. Yeah, we um, like to go for kind of like a chunky mulch um, with big bits in it like this. It just takes longer for it to break down so obviously it lasts a bit longer and it's also real good for drainage as well. Alright so starting off with my first tip and it's all about timing. So we like to mulch our fruit trees twice a year. So the first time we'll mulch is just before winter and the second time we'll mulch is just before summer. So the reason that we like to mulch just before winter is to provide the trees and the roots with insulation just to protect them from the frosts and the cold temperatures. We like to mulch again just before summer to retain the moisture. So if you've just got bare dirt, um, it dries out a lot quicker in the sun and you need to do a lot more watering. So definitely by having a layer of mulch down, it definitely helps reduce the need for watering and also helps to retain the moisture. Alright, moving on to our second tip and that's all about the thickness of our mulch. So the ideal thickness for mulch is around 2-4 to four inches. Now you don't want it too thin because then it won't serve its purpose of weed suppression because the weeds can just push up through that mulch uh, and it also won't retain moisture and insulate the roots like it should. Now you also don't want it too thick because then the mulch ends up taking all the water away and the water can't get down into the roots of the tree. So yeah, you don't want it too thin but you don't want it too thick either. So just make sure you're mulching your trees around 2-4 to four inches thick. Alright, so here's an example of a tree that desperately needs some mulch. So you'll see there's last year's mulch and all those weeds are already creeping in, in over top. So we will get to mulching that tree very shortly. Mulching. Is mum doing some mulching? Are you going to help me? Do you want to put some mulch in your wheelbarrow? Yeah. Good work. Moving on to our third tip and that is how we put our mulch down. So the one mistake a lot of people make is they put their mulch down kind of like a volcano in a mound. So for example, they'd put it all down kind of like that. Um, the problem with this is that it can bring a lot of pests and diseases and actually rot the trunk of your tree. Make sure when you're putting the mulch down that it's not all mounded up. You want it kind of like a basin and make sure it's around two to three inches away from your tree trunk. So you want to pull it all away from your tree trunk and make sure um, it's quite flat. Now you can have it uh, like a basin shape so a little bit higher on the outside which will encourage when it rains the rain to go into um, your tree uh, because that's another thing if it's like a mound when it rains um, it will kind of wash the water away from the tree if that makes sense. So yeah when you're putting your mulch down just make sure you put it down like a basin and not a mound. Fourth tip is all about mulching to the drip line of the tree. So the easiest way to explain the drip line is pretty much go to the outer edge of the branches, go down to the ground, and that's pretty much your drip line. 
Uh, the reason we do this is because people forget that root systems under the ground are a lot bigger than you may think and you want to make sure that you're protecting the entire root system. So the root system normally goes out into the drip line. So obviously if you mulch right up to the drip line in the tree, then you're protecting um, all the roots underneath. Another big reason we like to mulch to the drip line is also to help with mowing. Uh, obviously sometimes when you've got branches that are low and sticking out, it's really hard to get close to that tree uh, to mow the grass. So yeah, if you do a big ring of mulch around it, it just makes it a lot easier uh, for mowing purposes as well. This wedding cake tree is a perfect example of why you'd put a big layer of mulch around it for mowing. The branches go out really, really far and they're quite delicate and really easy to break. So I've put a big layer of mulch around to make it easier to mow around because knowing my husband, he will try and get as close as he can to the trunk and probably snap one of my branches. And I love these wedding cake trees. It's actually the tree that we got married under, so I think this is a perfect posy for it it's gonna look amazing when it gets big um, but I've heard it takes like five years to look like look any decent so at the moment it just looks like a bit of a dead stick in the middle of the lawn my last tip is make sure that you use a weed free mulch I definitely think it pays to spend a little bit more money and um, getting a mulch where you know it's come from don't go getting a mulch that has like kaikuia roots in it. We did actually get given some mulch a couple weeks ago that was full of kaikuia. And by the time I literally went through it sifting out all the little kaikuia roots, probably would have just been better to whip down to your local yard and pick up some mulch. So mulch from a yard or whatever is normally, I'd say, around $50 a cubic meter. Um, I know that you can get it a lot cheaper, um, like via Facebook marketplace I've seen it for 20 a cube or 30 a cube it's definitely cheaper again if you're buying it in bulk loads and so we've pretty much started mulching all of these trees you can see that they've got a nice fresh ring of mulch down apart from all those benefits I mentioned earlier I reckon it's also aesthetically pleasing I reckon it looks cool when you freshly mow your lawns which we need to do <laughs> and then you've got these nice fresh uh, basins of mulch around your trees. It just looks real tidy and I'm definitely one for trying to make the place look tidy because during renovations it definitely looks a bit of a mess at the moment so if I can have one area of land that looks all right then I'm definitely winning. So apart from using this mulch all on our fruit trees you can use mulch literally everywhere. So we've put it in this garden as well it definitely is aesthetically pleasing beforehand it was just clay so yeah I do like adding mulch to my gardens as well for that reason also the main one is to pretty much stop weeds so that's why I put it in all my gardens for weed control I've also put it all along our berry tunnel so yeah I literally just put it anywhere that I don't want weeds to grow Anyways, I might wrap up this video now. We've definitely got some animals that are wanting my attention um, and Logan as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned a little bit about mulching um, and you can get prepared to start mulching your trees now because here in New Zealand we're just about to go into winter. So definitely go out there and grab some mulch and start mulching your trees now. They will definitely benefit from it. So I hope you guys liked today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye. What are you crazies doing? Come here. Come here. Come here. What are you doing? Have you been swimming in the swimming pool? <laughs> oh, have I been busy, have I? Oh, you only had to wait 15 minutes. Oh, kalikawash, kalikawash. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, 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 hey. Calm down. Calm down. Oh. So, do a video on what it's really like owning three dogs. Because they always want attention from each other and they're psycho. Cleo's literally doing zoomies. They're crazy. Hey? They're doing zoomies around the garden. <laughs> Alright.